welcome back to another video Saturday weekend vlog um, today is day after St. Patrick's Day March 18th I'm headed to the grocery store big surprise um I go every other Saturday I've recently saw someone do a one month grocery haul and I thought you know I could try that because it would just free up so much time like to do it all at once of course you'd have to go back for like milk and fruit and bread and all things that go bad but I don't know I'm thinking about it I might do that next month but for now, I'm gonna do a two week grocery haul. And I know I'm talking. I know I'm talking. Y'all gotta see who I'm talking to. Um, Marion is actually out right now buying wood for an, our next project. So I think next weekend or the weekend after, we'll be working on that. So um, it's just a small thing, but it's something that we need to get done. I'm trying to check off like smaller items before we do the next big thing, which. Um, yeah, I have a long list. It's never ending. You know, when you buy a home, even though it's been 19 years almost, we still have a never ending list of things to update and fix and all that. So another one will be coming. I think it's next weekend, but it may be the weekend after. Um, but today's Saturday. Jackson's been on spring break all week. It's been amazing. We've just relaxed. We've done some fun things. Today we're actually going to go to this place called Alamo Draft House. You may have one where you live. You may know of them. You may have been. It's a movie theater, but they have like reclining chairs and they like serve you your meal with the movie. So um, we're going to go tonight and then Madison and Jordan said they wanted to come. So we, we got tickets for them. So um, we're going to leave about three o'clock this afternoon. And then also in this video, which I'm really excited about, I'm going to get my spring porch ready. I was going to do a separate video for that, but time just wasn't working for me. And so I'm going to do it tomorrow because today I won't have time, but it's going to be in the forties tomorrow. So it's going to be cold when I do it, but I got to get it done. This next week is going to be beautiful. It actually says it's going to be 80 degrees one day. So spring is coming and I want to get my porch ready. So that will be in this video. Okay, I just, just like that. I'm back home. It's 1 45. So we're doing good. We need to leave about 3 30. So it'll give me time. Oh, I'm out of breath. Bringing them all in. Actually, Jackson and Marion really helped with that. But then unpacking them. I gotta slow down. I was um, at Walmart and I realized I hadn't eaten anything. So I had to break into a Laura bar <laughs> to make it through the store. Like literally, I did not feel good at all. I was like, I really feel like I could pass out. I need to eat some food. And then I ended up going to Kroger because I have been wanting to get some boar's head lunch meat. I've for years heard it's so much better for you and I could never find it. And then I was at, I saw that it was at Kroger and I thought, how come I can never find it? And then I was there and I thought, I bet it's in the deli. So I went to the deli and that was literally like all they had, huge signs everywhere. So he let me sample some and I bought it and it is so good. It is so, so good and so expensive. Everything is so expensive. But um, anyway, got my groceries, got a few things at Kroger just because Walmart didn't have them, but they did pretty good today. I think I spent a little over $300 between both stores. And as I go through the groceries, I will tell you my meal plan. I did not buy a lot of meats because the meals I'm planning, I guess they just don't have a lot. Plus I have some in the freezer. So, but as we go through, I'll try to remember my meal plan. Um, we have soccer starting this week, Jackson's soccer games. He's playing for his school. So a couple nights, like his games are later, so like right at dinner time. So I'm gonna have, I have to have him to think of like easy, quick dinners that we can either eat before or take with us. And so some of them are just simple, easy dinners. I'm gonna start over here and Clyde, of course, is sitting on my groceries. Always gotta sit on them when I bring him in, don't you my boy? Oh, my sweet Lord. Sweet boy, I was gonna say sweet love and sweet boy, so sweet boy. Um, tomorrow, I think after church, we're gonna go to Sam's. So I just couldn't deal with it today. So we're gonna get a few more things at Sam's like coffee and some snacks, but for now, this is what I got. I got Jackson's Gatorade because he's going back to school tomorrow. Some water bottles, toilet paper, and they had these like lavender. I don't know, fresh lavender. It's going to make the bathroom smell good. <laughs> um, some more dish soap. I mean, laundry soap. Marion's bubbly. And I got Jackson the mini sprites this week. Do you need to go outside? It is cold and windy today. Cold and windy, but look at the green grass starting to poke through. We need to get out here and do a lot of yard work before long. Okay, back to the grocery haul. These are some cans and things. I got, whoops, Marion loves blue cheese. We're going to have salads. One or two nights, I needed some more minced garlic. This thing is almost nine bucks, but it lasts forever. Some more syrup. Some salsa. I got, I just like stocked up on some of the canned vegetables. I got two of the Italian green beans. Some black beans because I'm going to make taco salad. So I got black beans and, oh, spinach. 
just for Marion loves that um, corn for the taco salads so I got a couple of those and I got a couple baked beans and did I show you this a couple cans of soup jazzy jambalaya and chicken and sausage gumbo Marion loves like those flavors all right had to let the dogs in and the cats want to eat so everybody's needing something people are texting me <laughs> I gotta get through this grocery haul. Okay, I got some of these spinach and herb wraps. We're gonna have wraps a couple nights. Those, those are easy to take to a soccer game if I need to. I got some more of these. I haven't bought these in a long time. These are my favorite. It's like a chocolate covered payday or, or it's like a baby Ruth. That's what it tastes like. And then this is what I got when I was there because I was so starving and I hadn't tried the blueberry muffin. It's not my favorite. I definitely love the pineapple upside down the best, but I cannot hardly ever find it. But they're okay so I like to keep these in my purse if I'm out and it just like hits me that I'm starving these really do help I don't know how many grams of protein they have four grams of protein not that much but it definitely helps when you're starving and then I got these for Jackson peanut butter crunchy granola bars for his lunches some garden rotini you know the home star rice crispy treats gotta get those I just got some tortilla chips to go with salsa Marion loves, you know, the kettle barbecue chips, and Walmart doesn't have them. Long story, I went to Kroger to get them. They didn't have their normal ones, so I bought the private selection brand. I didn't realize they were $3.50. These better be amazing, but the reason I got them there was because they're usually cheaper, but these were not. They're thick and crunchy. He loves the kettle. This I did not buy today. I got these yesterday for $2.99 at Ross for chia seeds. Madison was wanting some when we were at Walmart, and they were $11, but those were $2.99, so I got to give those to her. I got broccoli. We're going to have General Tso's chicken with broccoli and pineapple and rice. So I got that. Colby Jack, this is for our um, taco salads. I got some extra sharp white cheddar cheese and some pepper jack. I'm trying to remember what we're going to have. <laughs> Might have to pull out my list. Sliced Colby Jack, that'll be for our wraps. I got some applesauce because I'm an adult, but I love applesauce. So that's a good snack when I'm just really wanting something to eat. Marion loves his fig bars and also got the tuna tuna creations. These are still $1. Lemon pepper, hickory smoked, deli style tuna salad, sweet and spicy, and honey barbecue. And I'll get a big box of crackers tomorrow when I go to Sam's. He loves those for lunch. And then Jackson's drink pouches, of course. Got 18 eggs because we're going to have breakfast for dinner. We're going to have that uh, French toast casserole that I showed you before recently. We're going to do that again with eggs and bacon. So I got turkey bacon for me and regular bacon for Marion. Jackson will eat both. I got a thing of chicken tenderloins. Haven't bought these in so long, but I'm gonna do some air fryer chicken. I'm gonna try them in the, in the air fryer with like some Italian seasoning. What I'm trying to do is recreate my favorite meal at King's Dominion. It's chicken tenderloins and scalloped potatoes. So I'm gonna do that one night because it's just so good. And then that's my General says chicken. This is just so easy and convenient. Make some rice. I put pineapple and broccoli in, put it in the oven. It is delicious. This is the boar's head meat that I got. The maple honey turkey. He let me sample it. This stuff was amazing. So good. I'm excited to try that. But that'll be for Jackson's lunches and then for our wraps. And I also got a honey ham. Got potatoes for scallop potatoes. And instead of the regular brioche, I got the cinnamon brioche this time because that'll make the French toast casserole even better, I would imagine. And then I can also toast it and have some for breakfast with oatmeal. And then I got ciabatta rolls for Jackson's lunches. Over here I got my produce, got some strawberries, um, a white onion because I'm going to make some pico de gallo because we're going to have chicken tacos one night. Half gallon of milk, got a bell pepper to put on wraps and salads, got some of these like little mini carrots for carrots and dip. Got a bunch of Roma tomatoes, um, a cucumber, and cilantro, spinach. I actually love like a Subway sandwich with turkey and cheese and spinach and tomato. So I was trying to kind of recreate that in a wrap. Those are my favorite. Got a pineapple, some bananas, a big old thing of black seedless grapes. These look so good. I got these at Kroger. Some gala apples. And two things of romaine, I forget why, salad, oh, taco salad and maybe regular salad. And then some non-food, well, all my canned dog and cat food. Just have to take those and put them up. Um, this was in their little dollar spot and it was only $1. I have some that are like a blue color. 
that I just put them away because I'm de I decorated for spring, but I thought that was so pretty, and I have an idea of where I'm going to use this, so I'll be showing you in another video. But I also needed some magnesium, and I got this for a project that I'm doing next, so it, I believe for you it'll be the next video. But I needed a little, a little thing with some hooks. Then I also got this because I think I'm going to put this out on my porch. I'm going to decorate it tomorrow. This was on sale for $3.50, and they're really cute. They also have like a terracotta color. Really pretty. Um, I got finally found the blue or the ocean mist down and stoppables. These are my favorite. They are so good. Jackson needed some more shampoo. Is it shampoo? I hope it is. Yeah. And then I had to buy different dog treats because they didn't have my Alpo. And I didn't want to buy the cheap ones because I bought them before. And some of y'all told me that they could have antifreeze in them. And I was not going to chance it, risk it. So I bought these because Blue is a pretty good brand. And these were $14. <laughs> $14. But they're real small. So these should last us a, a good long time. But they love their dog treats. So that's it. It's going to take me a good 30-45 minutes to put all this stuff away. And I'm starving already, but when we go to the movies tonight, we're actually going to eat at the movies, so I don't want to eat too much because I want to have popcorn. They have, they give you popcorn with like real clarified butter on it. Oh, so good. It's the best popcorn ever, so I'm going to like save room for popcorn, and we usually get like chicken strips or something there, you know, just to eat while we're watching the movie. So I'm going to try to resist, but I might have another piece of that boar's head turkey because that was so good. <laughs> All right, it seems like every time I do my grocery haul and I say I'm going to show you, tell you my meal plan, I forget as I'm going through, but I thought I'd go through the ones I didn't tell you. We're going to have eat out tonight, taco salad. We're going to have wraps a few nights, chicken tacos. A few nights we're just going to eat like the frozen chicken and stuff like that that's in the freezer. Trying to always rotate that and eat it. Um, we're going to have pepper jack chicken tacos in the crock pot with like rice and beans, chopped salads. We're, we have some steaks in there, so we'll, we'll have steak and pasta and more wraps, General Tso's chicken, breakfast for dinner, and then the chicken and scalloped potatoes, and then a few, you know, I like to leave a few nights open because either I'll have leftovers or we'll eat out or, you know, if things are too busy or we'll just eat what's in the freezer. So that is basically my meal plan for the next two weeks. All right, refrigerator is full, food is prepped. I got the fruit washed and prepped. Everything put up, everything is great. We really got to eat some of the stuff in the freezer. Pantry is stocked up. Such a wonderful, amazing feeling. God is so good and I am so, so grateful. This is what I haven't shown you. <laughs> this is like a bunch of my Timu stuff. Slowly but surely I'm finding um, places for it all so I have a plan to like reorganize some things and I knew that I was getting all these items so I have been thinking about how I want to organize it but it's not like the best use of space up here so I have some ideas and I'm working on it so we're about to go it's 318 we need to leave at 330 we still have to get gas and then um we go about an hour and 15 minute drive Madison and Jordan are going to meet us there So I'm glad that I, I'm glad that I, yeah, he's wearing pajama pants. But who cares? It's the movies. I've worn pajamas to the movies before. They actually tell you in where we live. They were like, we don't care if you come in your pajamas. Anyway, I'm starving, ready to eat. And of course, watch a movie. <laughs> was super slow but the whole experience was so fun 
we all loved it and we definitely will will come back to Alamo Draft House. That was so fun to have, you know, your food and your popcorn and everything just brought to you and you could just lounge back in your recliner. It was it was amazing. It's actually cheaper than Regal where we normally go. Of course, that's in town and this one is an hour and 15 minute drive each way, but Madison and Jordan they had fun too. They went to Trader Joe's and we stopped at Marshall's. I was looking for something and then right next to Marshall's was a Krispy Kreme. Well, in the same shopping center as Alamo Draft House. So Marion loves his his, his um, glaze. Well, who doesn't, right? Well, Jackson doesn't. Jackson doesn't like Krispy Kreme. Um, but I got a blueberry. I've never had one of their blueberry donuts. That was the best. So, but I only got one. So, and a water. Um, but anyway, we're headed home. We have an hour and a half drive. It is, I'm an hour and 15, so we'll be home by nine. So I'll just probably catch up with you uh, tomorrow on Sunday. All right, it is Sunday morning. The next day we are getting ready to go to church. I'm trying to get myself ready. We're actually not running late this morning. It's a miracle. It's a Sunday morning miracle. Um, I thought I'd show you my outfit. I'm still kind of not sure about it. I, you know, like the mom jeans, the bigger, like wider jeans. This is not me at all, but I found these. Madison was telling me to size up one size and that they will feel, they'll look, they'll give you the look that you're looking for. So I did. I found these at Goodwill. This whole outfit is from Goodwill and I'm not sure. They're so, I usually wear like, you know, skinny leg tight, tight pants all the way down. So I'm not sure if I like them, but I thought that I would wear them to church, give them a few hours, you know, to see how they stretch. They are, do have stretch in them, so that's good, but they are pretty loose. I thought about taking the waist in a little, but I don't know. We're going to give it a go. I think they're cute, but they're a little short, and if I roll them up once or twice, they look actually better. And I thought about doing some of my own distressing on them but i don't have time obviously this morning and it's also too cold to roll them up <laughs> so it's like 40 it's what's well, like 40 degrees right now so anyway i'm gonna wear just some white tennis shoes with them and hopefully i don't look like i'm trying to look like i'm 20. i do love this sweater it's an airy sweater and it's got these like little slits on the sleeve it's warm but it's not like too warm but it's uh, hopefully it will be warm when I go outside because it's a little windy, but I also love the detail on the sleeves. Anyway, that is my OOTD outfit of the day. We're going to go to church and then I think we're just going to run to Sam's and have lunch if it's not too crowded. Otherwise, we'll probably just go through a drive through and then we're going to grab a few things at Sam's like I was saying yesterday. And then Marion's got to go put a sink in for Michael and Daniela. They got a new sink like ours. He's going to spend his whole afternoon doing that. And I'm going to decorate my porch and laundry and getting ready to go back to school tomorrow for Jackson. we got to go buy him some shorts for his soccer game. They only gave them tops. we got to get shorts and hopefully soccer socks. Can't find them anywhere, but hopefully we can do that. So kind of got a busy day today. All right, there it is with the purse and the shoes. I'm still, I'm still deciding. <laughs> It's comfortable though. These jeans have a lot of stretch in them. And like I said, if you size up, <laughs> they give you uh, a lot of room. So let's go to church. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day, but it is chilly and windy. Oh, we just ate lunch at Sam's. Their prices are just the best. <laughs> Their food. What is it? Uh, like a dollar thirty-eight for a hot dog and a drink. And for a drink costs eighty-nine cents, and a hot dog normally is like a dollar. Yeah, and so that's a killer deal. They have churros, huge churros for a dollar. Of course, they were out today, but I love that when everything else has gone up, Sam's Cafe has not. So of course, there were so many people here because you can't afford to go out to eat at expensive restaurants. But anyway, we got a few things. I will do a haul when I get home. But we're on the lookout now for shorts and. What are they called? Socks. Soccer socks. I don't know. What are they called? Just, just socks. socks. <laughs> For, uh, yeah, I already looked at Walmart. They didn't have any. I'm hoping I can find some at Target. Because Marion's got to get to Michael's and fix the sink. And I got to decorate my porch. All right, Target did not have a we need. So we're going to try this place. This is new. Sportsman's Warehouse. I don't even know what they sell. That was a fail. 
they don't have soccer stuff they have like it's like a miniature bass pro shop is what we said <laughs> it's got hunting fishing it'll be a fun store for them to go into when we're not in kind of like a hurry i guess we'll go to dick see if we can find the socks and if not he's gonna play with regular socks all right walmart came through for me walmart for the win All right, we made it home. It is 2.15, Marion's getting ready to go. He's literally probably gonna be there for, well, till dinner time, at past dinner time, I'm sure. Um, hopefully, we already prayed, there would be no issues with it. If it was our house, there would be all kinds of issues, but hopefully, they won't have any issues. They're just gonna, he's, he, they got a big giant sink, like a one basin sink. So, Marion hates plumbing, like it's one of his least favorite things, but he does know some about it, so he can do it, but. Yeah, we're hoping everything goes as planned. But I'm gonna show you what I got from Sam's to complete my grocery haul. And we did find Jackson's shorts and sock. We found socks. They're not soccer socks, but they're gonna work. So Walmart, he has to wear red. I think red for home games, blue for away games. It's so strange that they didn't give them shorts. Elena played middle school soccer and she had like the shirt, the shorts, the socks, everything that matched, but they just gave them tops, so they're so different on camera. This is so orangey red, but in person, it's way darker. But yeah, so these were only seven, seven forty-eight. The two shorts, and then we just got him these, like tall, thick socks to put his his shin guards go on top of his socks. That's just the way they are. So yeah, we got those, and then this is my Sam's haul, and Belle's eating her food, so you will hear that. Um, got Marion's coffee, and we love these. Well, I don't eat them, but Marion and Jackson love them. Marion uses these um, little snack packs when he eats his tuna for lunch, so they both love those. I got these. I had been wanting to get these before, and I didn't, so today I just grabbed them. They're zero added sugars, and I figured this would be like a nice like snack to grab in the afternoons. Always about 3 o'clock. I am starving, and I need something that is just going to tide me over till dinner so this is almonds cashews dark chocolate flavored chips and hazelnuts but i loved that it had no added sugar so we'll give it a try i think it was around ten dollars um for 18 ounces so probably full of protein imagine there's a lot of protein for four grams in a fourth of a cup but zero added sugar so i liked that i also got these for marion apple turnovers he likes those big apple tarts we've been getting but this one was only like $2 more and you get a ton. And if I'm going to eat apple turnover, I want it to be covered in icing. But he doesn't like icing, so he loves them like this. So got him that. And then I got so I have not had the apple and eve, I don't think. But this has no added sugars. So I have been loving orange juice lately. And from, with my breakfast, to grab one of these, that will be nice. It's 24 in this. So that will be good. And then I grabbed a bathing suit. I love Sam's. I always get their bathing suits last year they didn't have any in a style I liked I have to really watch the top anything that's low cut I cannot wear because I feel like I'm like falling out of it and I don't think it's modest with my body shape so and my girls are the same way we always have to be really careful for the top so I love when they have them that are like this this unzips but it actually still has like a modesty panel so so it doesn't show anything so when i find them high like this i buy them so i already bought a pink one that's a little different than this and it fit really good so i went back and got this this is what it looks like on and then that's the back it's not my favorite like i like all the cute bathing suits are like the bikinis they're the cutest but it's okay and it fits really good i feel comfortable in it and these what does it say 94 dollars is the MSRP and these are like 26 something at Sam's and they usually last me a good two summers um, You know before they get a little stretched out or they fade or whatever So I have two brand new ones. I bought two two years ago, and they're kind of done But anyway, it comes with the little shorts and in these I wear a large Just because my top has to you know has to fit but they fit really good if you're looking for a bathing suit and you're bigger at the top I recommend these for sure. I also grabbed a couple of these v-necks and I wasn't sure which size to get because you can't try on so I got a medium and a small and I'm gonna see because uh, it's kind of a big difference in size so I just they were like seven something each so I figured if one of them doesn't fit I will take it back but they were a good price I liked oh I'll, I also liked at the bottom of them they had this little slit and I like that so we'll see see if either one of those fits all right thought I'd show you what the bathing suit looks like on so it's the shorts and they have the blue stripe on them right there and then this covers it but you know it rides up 
some so you just when it's wet it doesn't but it fits really good when I first buy them and then after a couple years they do get a little bit stretched this swimsuit material does but they have this right here which I think is pretty and see this unzips I don't know if I can do it there we go it does like that which I would never leave it like that but see it still has that panel but I have to feel like secure up here it's always my issue with bathing suits and I definitely do with this and it has well the back looks like that but I love it and this kind of right here kind of like because it's not solid it hides you know I feel like it camouflages my least favorite part but um this is the pink one I got this one is just plain on the front so that's why I wanted to try the blue one too this is pretty too in the back has a little different it's not just plain it has that but these are only like 26 something at Sam's if you're bigger and you need something that's going to hold you in these are such a great option I've been buying Sam's bathing suits for years and they've always been the best ones I've ever had the best fit I love them and like I said I get about two summers out of them which I think it's a good deal I mean I still can wear them longer especially if I have a couple then they'll go longer because I don't have to wear them only one bathing suit you know so I think they're flattering and they're very modest I love the shorts I don't I like to be very modest when I'm in a bathing suit and so these to me are just like the perfect compromise the shorts are great they feel good they're not too big not too small all right, I've got a load of laundry going. I know I have at least three loads of laundry to do today. So I'm gonna go out on the porch and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch out here, but I wanted to change it up a little bit from last year. And if you didn't see that video, I'm gonna link it down below. I did, con it was the first year I, actually it was kinda like the first season I had my screened in porch after Christmas. So I did a lot of stuff. Marion built me these beautiful flower boxes, which I love, I used them till up until Christmas I took them down and so they're full of fall flowers still and they are so beautiful but I'm going to switch them out for spring flowers I thought about too let me know what you all think I love them stained they're beautiful love them but I also love that look where I stained it and then I painted it and then I sanded it and it looks real chippy and actually for some reason it's like kind of green you can see compared to the white it's kind of turned green but I don't mind that because I love green so I don't know if it was the stain I used or the paint I used, but, or the wood, but I was thinking about painting them white and then sanding them down. They would be beautiful like that. Let me know what you would do. For now, I'm going to leave them stained, but there may come a time when I pull them down and paint them. But it's really cold outside, so I'm going to try to do this quick. And my little Clyde, he's wanting to come out. He's going to realize really quick it's too cold. But I'll probably let the dogs out too, just because they're... They've been in and out all day long. So I'm gonna lock this and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I got uh, for the porch. I didn't want to, I'm trying to be quiet. I don't know if there's, it's super quiet out here. <laughs> so these are the window boxes and they still have all my fall flowers in them. Excuse me, Ollie. So I'm gonna leave obviously the greenery in, but I'm gonna take out the yellows and oranges, save those for the fall. And I have this little rug of course the sun is going to be a pain. I was hoping I would get out here when the sun was not drowning out the porch too much, but it's probably going to be some. But I have this little tiny rug and I was looking for a bigger rug. I actually bought one at Walmart, but I did not like it. It's like a plastic rug and just it wasn't comfortable. And I thought, "You know what? I'm going to pull this one out." I bought this for my craft room downstairs and I haven't been using it for a while. I actually got a new rug for down there, which I'll be showing you in another video, but this is kind of like the colors I'm going with. Like these, these are the same colors obviously I have inside. So I have that rug, which I'm probably gonna use and it is washable. I throw it in my washing machine all the time. So it's it's small enough that I can. So I'm not worried about it like getting messed up. Plus we never get water over here on the porch. If we have like a really terrible storm, look, he already wants to go in. <laughs> it's too cold for you, huh? Go on, Clyde, go on baby. Um then we might get like some water over here just like in the door but that's really it so I'm not worried about it getting wet and if it does I can throw it in the wash and then I just got this at Ross the other day for $6.99 they had a ton of these and I wish I got a couple but I loved this ruffle on the side and they're actually dark gray they're not black but I thought it was so pretty with that and then I have these pillows that I've had inside but I had them on my bed and when I washed them one of them you can see is lighter the one on the right is lighter so I thought I could maybe use those. They match 
you know the colors out here and then this is just the old cushion that goes on the back of this chair and then I got this at Ross the other day too I think it was $8.99 and yeah $8.99 and it's really big so this should fit on my front step and then of course I'm going to put some uh, beautiful spring flowers in those and these are the florals that I got. I showed you these in my spring decorate video. I bought two of them. I was going to use some inside. So whatever I have left over out here, I'll use on the inside. But aren't these just the most beautiful colors? And then I also have white flowers that I'll put in there too with lots of greenery. And then I got some more of these ferns. I have this one. I don't remember how much I paid for this. It might be two, but I got it at Hobby Lobby and it wasn't cheap. And I've had it in that pot and I just wanted some more ferns and they were... The big ones were like $32 at Hobby Lobby. Of course, you get them 50% off, but still that was crazy. So these are only $5 at Walmart for one pick, $4.98. So I got two of them, and the back is light green and the front is dark. So when you kind of spread them out, they look like they're both, and I love that. So I got two of those, so I'm probably going to put these over here in this green pot that I painted last year. It's this green color and I've had this like grass in it and I think I'm going to replace it with some ferns and just maybe like stick that over here by the front door. I'm going to leave my wreath for now. Hopefully it'll look a lot prettier and it'll look a lot springier. So I'm going to try to do this quick because I'm freezing. <laughs>
I'm not going to plant my flowers yet. I'll be doing that in a few more weeks, probably in April. But for now, I just put that little flag out here. And I usually will get a new one every year. They're super inexpensive and they fade. And over time, you just have to replace them. So that was only $3.99. Okay, porch is finished. But I'm going to wait a little bit while longer in the video. My hair is awful. I was breathing in so much dust. Ugh pollen and dust. Um, I'm going to wait until the sun sets a little bit more. You'll have a bit, much better view of it, but it's so pretty and so simple. And um, I'm actually really hot now. <laughs> I was out there and now coming in, I'm really hot. But I wanted to show you, I had two of these left over. So I'm just going to put them, I thought I'd put one in here, just give it some color, some more blue. Because you know I love the pops of blue and green. So uh, I want to stick one in here and then I might put one in my kitchen. I have another pot with just some greenery. I'll see how that looks. I mean, it's, I guess it's okay. I like the blue. Well, the laundry's not gonna stop, so I'm gonna go ahead and I got a lot of towels I need to fold and then I'll switch it over and keep it going. Marion just texted and showed me a picture of Michael and Danielle's sink. He got the old sink out Ready to put the new one in, it's 4.15, so hopefully this won't take all day, hopefully just a couple hours and he'll be done. I'm gonna make taco salad for dinner because it's super easy. I've been buying the Sam's ground beef, I love it. It's such good quality and it is cheaper. And I've said that a couple times, but I've just discovered it and I love it. And so they package it, I think, I wanna say they're bigger than a pound each package, but they may be a pound. But I don't use a whole pound, especially when it's just the three of us. So I cook the whole thing and then I take some of it and I put it in the freezer when it's already cooked. So I have ready to go cooked ground beef. I just ate a banana, sorry. The bananas, these bananas are just like literally the perfect shade of yellow. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I love a banana that's like the perfect ripeness. Um, and I see Belle over there wants to go out for the 85th time today. Um, so I already have ground beef cooked, so it's going to be super easy. I'm going to make taco salads, just ground beef, lettuce, tomato, corn, black beans, cheese, maybe some crumbled up tortilla chips. Super easy and healthy. So I'm going to do the laundry, switch the laundry over, and I do need to run my vacuum, but you know how that goes. I might send the dogs outside for a few minutes and get my vacuum, my floors vacuumed. I still haven't made my bed because Claire's laying on it, and you know, she's comfortable and I'm not going to kick her off, so... I just have a few little things to do and I actually need to get to editing because I wanted to have a video of tomorrow but I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. Tomorrow's the first day of spring and I have my spring clean and decorate and it's a long one. I've got like two hours of footage so I really wanted to get that up on the first day of spring but it may be the day after so if it gets done it gets done and if not you all will understand I know so see if that's Mary and somebody's texting me. Ah, oh yep sent me another. He said it's not installed but it fits so oh pretty i don't think michael and danielle would mind me showing you their their sink but that's a picture of it that is beautiful i love it super shiny new nothing like a brand new whoa, sorry <laughs> nothing like a brand new sink all right just put the dogs out so i gotta work fast <laughs> this way they don't attack me everybody's happier i can just get it done and not have to not have to deal with their shenanigans Sometimes it's too much. <laughs>
I was showing you in my grocery haul, I got those downy scent beads, the white ones, the blue ocean mist or whatever, or ocean mist it has like a blue label. Um, when I opened up my washing machine just now, when the load was done, I was like smacked in the face. It smelled so good. I was like, yes, that's what I missed. That's what I love. These pink ones, I think they were also downy, but they just were not cutting it. I don't love the, like, like I do like the scent and it definitely lingers and I can like open my closet and I can smell it. But these, the blue and then like the lavender ones, like they're all white, but they're, the bottles have like a blue lid or a lavender lid. Oh, they are the best. They smell so good. So good. I know baby girl. Load number two. Time to make dinner. So that looks bigger than I realized. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all this. I was gonna make Mexi ranch. You just mix ranch with salsa, but I just put them both on top. Marion is still at Michael's, so I'm gonna wait until he gets home to assemble the rest of his, just so that you know everything is nice and fresh. There it is, mixed up. I was gonna put some crushed up tor tortilla chips, but I've been eating chips and salsa while I've been cooking, so I probably had enough of those. <laughs> just got home sink is in it looks great he's eating his dinner now I've got more laundry going just took one out of the dryer folded put it away got another one in the dryer and then another one in the washer so it's like 7 15 I'm gonna keep working on that and clean up the kitchen it's not too much just a few dishes but I want to show you what the porch looks like now that the Sun has gone down enough that you can actually see what the porch looks like I've said it before in on my porch I don't put like live plants i put artificial plants it's just i don't want to have to water them and have the porch get wet so i just use artificial on the porch but i try to make sure that they look realish i used to hang ferns when i didn't have um the screen the screened in area and it was really beautiful but they were so they're so needy they needed so much water and then the sun the evening sun is over there and it just scorched them and it's just hard to keep things alive so on the outside of the house i do plant real flowers and i'll be doing that probably in april i'll cut back my um you know the leftovers from last year and i'll plant some new ones in the pot where the little flag is and that'll be fun that'll be a an upcoming video but for now it is freezing and so i'm not going to be planting yet but i'm going to show you what everything looks like but thank you also so much for hanging out with me this weekend i hope you enjoyed this vlog i hope it gave you some motivation or just kept you company i love you all so much and i appreciate you and i will see you in my next video Bye bye